Hi everyone! I thought I'll start off my first YouTube video on my channel ever talking about my favorite bag, which is the Chanel Classic Medium Size Black with Gold Hardware. This beauty I've had a couple of years now, and as you can see, it's still looking, you know, quite new. Um, there are some signs of wear and tear, which I will show you shortly, but this is my absolute favorite bag. Now, just quickly running through all the little details of this bag, I've no, I know that most of you would have seen um, thousands of videos on this already online, but I really want to talk about my love for this bag. And if there was one luxury bag that I think I can keep or buy for the rest of my life and if there's only one this will be the one so i'll bring it right up close i've just got natural sunlight out from my window at the moment and um, this bag has gone through sort of lots of wear and tear lots of uses trauma as well um so i'll show you up close later of what i what kind of damage i've done to it uh, but just quickly, this one is a new edition, so it doesn't have the real goal, 24 karat goal like in the past. So this is just plated. Uh, and also the straps are also plated, not real gold, unfortunately. Uh, and then has the flap here, and then that's the back with that little pocket that I don't really use it. Um, just because, you know, it'll fit little cards and stuff. Um, it's really dark there, so you can't really see. It might fit little cards, little receipts, but I don't like the fact that I might use my nails and scratch it if I'm in a hurry to try and get in and out of this pocket. So I don't really use it. Now inside, twist and turn. You've got the flap. The little zip that Chanel, Coco Chanel used to keep her love letters, her secret love letters, and that's why you got this little pocket, the double flap, the beautiful burgundy interior lining, and the little pocket out here. Now I have a insert, a organizer in the bag. You don't really need it. I'm just a bit obsessive and OCD that I'll scratch my bag, so I have this just in case, and you know, this is just a normal one with a similar burgundy color that fits in the bag. And then I've also got um, inside, again, it's dark burgundy. I'm trying to see if I can show you what's inside with the lighting. So I'm also really afraid that I get like lipstick stains in there. So that's why I have the organizer. And then that's the authenticity card. And then the little pocket. Now, the zip I don't use uh, because, again, it's very tight and really I don't have any little admirers that I can send love letters to, but it is at the inside of it. Burgundy. I think it goes quite deep this way up, but yeah, don't really use it unless I have a secret. And closing back, this is just again a twist to the knob and then it locks securely. Now I love this bag because it looks very classy. I know lots of people do have it and I don't really mind that. I love that this looks classy. I love that this I can pretty much very casually. I can wear it at night for dinner. I can bring it to travel. It is black so... The risk of getting a color transfer is much less and I am a little bit less worry, a little bit more worry free with this one. Um, I'm still a bit usually quite careful with my bag so even with black and this letter I still am very careful with it. Uh, but this one in particular is the caviar letter and you can see it's like an embossed litter itself, so it's a little bit more durable than lambskins. A little bit more durable to scratches. Look, I'm not scratching really hard here. And 
uh, it also keeps it in shape. I've used it for a couple years now, so the leather softened up quite a bit in comparison to my other classic flap in different colors, but also caviar that I use less because they're a lighter color. They are a bit stiffer compared to this one. The stitchings, they're still pretty good. Nothing's really happened overall with the stitching. I think there was one that I don't remember where it is anymore, where the stitching is uh, a little bit off after years and years of usage, but I can't remember where it is anymore. It just happened that day that I did see it, uh, but it's so tiny that I can't even find it anymore. This is just the sides. Now in terms of the wear and tear that I have done and the damages that I have done. So up in the corners here, I'll try to bring it closer to the camera. Oh, there you go. That's a little stitching that I was talking about. Now, it, this doesn't bother me at all. I could probably cut it, I think, or get it fixed, but it doesn't bother me at all. And, you know, it's pretty much lots of use to it, so it will be bound to happen. And as you can see here, that's the wear and tear in the corners over the years. Not very obvious until you really look up closely. Uh, it's really subtle. And same goes on the other side. A bit of a wear and tear. Now you see that blue lighting is because there's blue skies outside. And there's a bit of a reflection there onto the bag. Again, the wear and tear is slight, and you can probably see it a bit more on the front here. Wear and tear, which is okay with me. And so is this side here. Now, other things in terms of wear and tear. My partner did drop my bag in a wedding. It was literally when I first bought this bag, and it was very new. I was taking it out for the first time ever. I left it on a chair for him to say, look after it, I'm just going to go to the toilet. And somehow when I came back, this bag was far away from my chair and face flat like that. So it just scratched through the flooring at this venue. And if I look, if I bring it up close, you can see it just at the knob here where there's like a dent there. You know, it was heartbreaking when it first happened, but I guess... You know, it's not obvious, so I haven't really been bothered by it since. Because it was new then, it was very sad, but now I don't really remember that's there. But as I'm moving this bag, you can sort of see that there is a little dent right there. Now in terms of close up to the hardware, over here I can see some hairline scratches. Again, just for me using it over the years for so long and just bringing it out wherever, traveling with me. It's just very hairline scratches that from afar you can't really see it. And then at the very last bit of it is, I have to try to find this one, I think. I think it's at the bottom here. So I had this bag on my shoulder and there you go. And... I was rushing to get out of the house and trying to wear my shoes at the same time and this bag slipped off me and it hit the wall, my white walls, and it sort of scraped through that. And as you can see here, a bit of the leather scrape and scratch. Um, again, really sad when I had this happen, my walls had black marks on it, so they both scratched each other. Um, and like, you know, I tried to do something about it myself but obviously to no success because I'm no litter expert but again you can't see it if I don't tell you about it and it's still really really beautiful I think classic and very well known when people see this but it is very functional I can fit quite a bit in here this is the medium size so I can pretty much expand and put lots of stuff in here. Um, my phone, and I've got a large phone, I've got a S20 tray, so it's pretty big, so it will fit that. And my wallet and lots of other stuff in there as well, I can fit quite a bit. 
otherwise very functional easy to get in and out oh the other one last thing i should talk about is you can pull the straps like that and make it into a crossbody bag you can then pull it back up again and make it into a shoulder bag you can obviously if it's too long for you you can do a little tie with the ribbon inside here and make the strap shorter so just pull across like that tie a bit of ribbon so that it doesn't indent on your bag close it and then you make the strap shorter but I, I don't think lots of people find any issues with this one this bag in particular with the straps being too long I'm pretty petite myself I'm about five foot one so I don't have any issues with the bag um, with crossbody length sometimes with a thick coat it is a bit too long for me too uh, so pretty good bag for even petite people but yeah just this out of my first video talking about my one and only favorite bag and this is the Chanel Classic Black Caviar in Medium with Gold Hardware. Thank you guys!